Good afternoon, this is Todd Horwitz. Coming here from the floor of the Seam Group in Chicago, and if you look at the Euro currency today, what are we really seeing here? Well, we're seeing con continued pressure on the U.S. dollar created by the Eurozone and the ECB, and of course, that is pushing the Euro currency higher into high, places we haven't seen for quite a while. But of course, these levels, I think, are done more with artificial buying. This is more of a suppression of the U.S. dollar, which creates the Euro to, to, to fly higher. And I think that what you see here is something that will eventually fail. I think one thing you have to be very careful of and watch is that the ECB continues to stand behind and is trying to keep pressure on the dollar as well as the rest of the currencies around the globe, putting the central banks to make sure that interest rates stay low. So the euro looks like it wants to start to break lower. It's been held up artificially and we would be sellers at about 125.50 to 126 as we look for a pullback at least to the 120s. But again, our overall longer term target is still back to par before it's all said and done. Now again, it won't happen in one day, it won't happen in a week, but it will be something that we wanna see the trend start to change. And right now we'd be sellers at about the 125.50 to 126 level, but look for these to start to come down. And I think the first break will be extremely rapid, which should take us down to probably 122 before we start to see any buyers come back. And once we start, but again, first we've gotta get around all this artificial buying of euros. And once that happens, I think you'll start to see it. So look to be a seller about 125 and a half, 126. That's the way we see it. This is Todd Horowitz coming to the floor of the CME Group in Chicago.